morning ESM. Last Monday, the 1st of June, marked the beginning of Pride Month. So today I'll be sharing some of its history and how it was celebrated here at school right after news and announcements. Gunfire from several shooters killed three people and wounded at least 11 others in a popular Philadelphia entertainment district late Saturday night. Police officers were patrolling the area on South Street in central Philadelphia at about 11.30 p.m. Saturday when they headed mul heard multiple shots. Racing to the scene, they found several people with gunshot wounds lying on the ground and began to aid them. Another responding officer saw a man on the street corner firing a handgun into a large crowd about half a block away. The officer drew his weapon and fired several times, and police believe the man was struck before he dropped his handgun onto the side and fled. A police statement said the dead were 34-year-old Gregory Jackson, 27-year-old Alexis Quinn, and 22-year-old man who is not yet identified. An SUV crashes into a New York State trooper on 181 in Cicero traveling at a high-speed rate. The trooper pulled his car aside to clean up garbage when Jonathan D. Bumpus claimed he did not see the vehicle's lights and struck the patrol car. He was taken to Upstate University Hospital with major injuries, and the trooper was not in the car during the accident. Police asked for the people to follow the move over lot and to slow down and pay attention and move over for emergency vehicles. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be a mandatory informational meeting for anyone interested in participating in Varsity Girls Tennis this fall, this Thursday, June 9th, after school in the Hall of Fame lobby. Any questions, email Ms. Felicia. The Senior Achievement Awards were handed out on Monday for the Class of 2022, including the Top 10 and Valedictorians Gordon Gallery and Emily Ferns. Pride Month is celebrated in June every year to honor the Stonewall Riots in Manhattan, New York, which are seen as a major turning point for the gay liberation movement from the 60s to the 80s. Its main purpose is to commemorate the impact LGBT individuals have made historically throughout the world. The last day of June was initially Gay Pride Day, although it wasn't a set day as many different events span throughout the entirety of the month. Today, many celebrate Pride Month by holding events like picnics, parades, and concerts, attracting millions of partakers. Pride Month isn't only a time of celebration, but it's also when memorials are held for those who have been lost within the LGBT community to hate crimes or AIDS and HIV. Now on to weather. As you can see, today there is going to be rain from around noon to 1 p.m. Rain showers will continue throughout the day and overnight. Today we will have a high of 75 and a low of 56, and tomorrow we will ha have a high of 76 and a low of 58. And I'm Abby with your weather. Our school had its very own Pride Month kickoff celebration last Monday in the front lobby. The Prism Club, alongside Something Better, put different flags representing multiple sexualities and gender identities alongside different signs similar to last year. The lights and music made a reappearance as students could be seen handing out stickers with the LGBTQ flag and the shape of a heart to the student body. This year, however, was a bit different. and every heart sticker, there was a small heart cut into it. The small cutout heart is meant to commemorate our school's very own Mr. Brandon, who unexpectedly passed June 30th last year. He's someone who not only took pride in his identity, but who also had a historical impact on every student he knew, and he is still dearly missed by us today.
Eduardo Escobar became the first New York Met since 2012 to hit for the cycle. Escobar finished the night 4-5 while batting with 6 RBIs and led the Mets to an 11-5 win over the Padres. The Section 3 baseball teams named their team MVPs. Congratulations to star pitcher Carter Stewart for receiving the ESM team MVP this season. Coach Harrington said Carter was a solid leader and a great team player. And I'm Aiden with your sports. Thanks for watching. And so from everyone here at The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday and happy Pride Month.